हेलो फ्रेंड्स क्रिकेट वर्ल्ड कप इज गोइंग ऑन एंड वी सी सम एक्स्ट्रा परफॉर्मेंसेस विद द बैट एंड द बॉल बट वन परफॉर्मेंस दैट स्टूड आउट हैपन रिसेंटली देर वॉज अ बैट्समैन फ्रॉम द ऑस्ट्रेलियन टीम एंड ही स्कोर्ड अ डबल हंड्रेड एंड वॉट वॉज सो एक्स्ट्राऑर्डनरी और एक्सेप्शनल अबाउट इट वॉज दैट देर वॉज नो फूटवर्क बिकॉज ऑफ द क्रैम्स he could not move his feet and yet he scored a double cent, double hundred uh, hitting fours and sixes so the question is what must have helped him and the answer is of course the other things the grit the determination etc those things are also uh, of course they are there but one thing that must have helped him was the eye hand coordination or some people call it hand eye coordination so let's discuss the physiology of this eye hand coordination what is the neural circuitry involved in the eye hand coordination uh, even uh, in india there were some batsmen in the past who had uh, not great footwork uh, for example uh, it is said uh, that uh, virupaji or such batsmen who were outstanding exceptional batsmen uh, they didn't have uh, much of a footwork as such but what was outstanding what was exceptional the eye hand coordination so let's understand uh, uh, what is the eye hand coordination i mean what is the neural circuitry involved in eye hand coordination now first of all uh, the two things which are required eye that is vision and hand muscle contractions or coordination so we need a visual pathway for this for the visual inputs and the master coordinator for the uh, for the muscle contractions master coordinator for voluntary movements uh, is the cerebellum so let's see the components or the connections between this visual input cerebellum spinal cord and hand muscles now uh, i that is vision visual input is sent via the visual pathway second cranial nerve and the visual pathway and one collateral is sent to a structure called as superior colliculus now this structure uh, you know basically uh, roof of the midbrain is called as tectum tectum has two superior colliculi and two inferior colliculi so superior colliculus connected with the visual pathway uh, part of the tectum and visual input conveyed to the superior colliculus and then from the superior colliculus uh, another tract send the signals to the cerebellum this is tecto cerebellar tract tectum as i mentioned uh, roof of the midbrain where there is superior inferior colliculus so tecto cerebellar tract so cerebellum has received the visual input now based on this visual input cerebellum will send this output signals which will go to the spinal cord and it will work in close association with this descending tract which is shown here from the superior colliculus to the spinal cord uh, tecto spinal tract so cerebellum is going to coordinate the muscle groups and it is going to work in close association with the tecto spinal tract tecto spinal tract as you can see in the diagram uh, from the spinal cord signals will be sent to the muscles of hand and there will be excellent coordination of the hand muscles based on the visual inputs so this is the circuitry uh, for the hand eye coordination or ha eye hand coordination whichever way you like to call it uh, but remember the structure the structure which is key which is central to this entire circuit is undoubtedly the superior colliculus i'll just quickly uh, recap it once again vision visual pathway sending signals to the superior colliculus part of the tectum and uh, tectum sending signals or superior colliculus sending the signals to the cerebellum tecto cerebellar tract so cerebellum has received those visual inputs now based on this cerebellum is going to take the action coordination between uh, hand muscles and perform those actions of hitting four and sixes of course uh, this uh, cerebellum sending signals to the spinal cord is working in close association with another tract which is called as tecto spinal tract tecto spinal tract and the cerebellar uh, outputs going to the hand muscles they are going to have uh, an excellent coordination of hand muscles 
that is how the eye hand coordination is performed so i believe those who have excellent eye hand coordination have probably the superior colliculus working in excellent conditions fine conditions or in fact maybe even larger than uh, the other individuals so that was the neural circuitry for eye hand coordination